their US Open show is over. Unfortunately, it didn't go as I was hoping it would, but let me uh, tell you a little bit about the experience up until the show and then how I felt my game was on the TV show. And while I do that, you can enjoy some behind the scenes uh, video from, uh, from the practice set and uh, seeing the, uh, the whole TV set like backstage. So, please enjoy. So we had a very short turnaround from match play to um, to TV show. So I basically ran, got some lunch, drilled a fresh gem for the TV show just in case. It turned out it was a little too strong for the TV pair, but wanted to make sure I had that option if I needed it. Then went practiced on the TV pair and went and then went over and stayed loose on some off TV practice lanes just to be warm and ready for when it was my time to go on. So um, basically red oil on the lanes, make the lanes play a little bit different. I felt like the TV pair hooked a little bit more than they did during uh, match play. Uh, they hooked a little bit more to the right, but there still wasn't any hole. So they didn't really play easier. They just played a little different than match play. So coming into my match, we had uh, Marshall, Frank Snodgrass, Playing fairly straight, one with the uh, Eurofane, the other with Reactive, and I was obviously gonna bowl the lefty, Justin, uh, Justin Knowles, uh, who's bowling pretty well, had a pretty good look uh, on the left side, threw a lot of good shots, so I knew it was gonna be a tough match. So, first frame, or basically I get, first of all, I get eight shots on the TV pair before we start as practice, uh, and I was debating whether I should start with my Send You or the uh, proton physics. In practice, uh, the Sen U looked a little more sensitive than the proton physics, and I had been throwing reactive all week, so I decided to go with that one. I trusted it a little bit more, and it looked pretty decent in practice. So we start, first frame. First frame always gets you on, on TV. It's, it's a hard frame, because everything just goes by really, really quickly. And it did that for me. It just, you try to focus on the right things, but ultimately you just, you get up there a little too quickly, throw, uh, throw it and I missed left. Luckily got a spare and uh, yeah, you can't really ask for a lot more than that. My next two shots were really, really good for double. And then again, I, I just missed left, yanked it and left a 3610. Um, I've made, I think I've made every single 3610 this week. And of course I chopped that one. So that was pretty awful. Move over, throw what I thought was a pretty good shot that didn't really hook. So the lanes were definitely getting a little bit tighter. Left the 10 pin, should have been an easy spare. Uh, as I was w getting ready to go up there, I was thinking that most of my spare shots in the warm up had been a little left of target. So I wanted to make sure I got it going to the right. And when I got up there, I threw it and just kind of fell off my, my hand into the right gutter. Um, so really a couple stupid frames, shouldn't have missed either of those pairs, but it kind of is what it is. So when we had commercial break, I got to sit, kind of just think, calm down a little bit and um, got up managed to get a turkey with three pretty good shots. Actually, the one in the seventh on the right lane, I wanted to make sure that because I felt like the lanes were getting a little tighter, I wanted to make sure that I 
that I got in my release nice and strong and I actually thought I missed left and it was gonna go high but it just kind of held and laid there which shows how tight the lanes were getting. So when I got up there in the ninth frame with a chance to actually basically win the match and at least put myself in a really good position, I thought I threw it perfect. I, it was strong off my hand, it was a little further right than the one before and I thought it was gonna be perfect and unfortunately yeah, it's 7-10, so yeah, not much you can do about that. Um, you need a little bit of luck in these kind of situations too. I didn't get it here. Uh, that 7-10 pretty much killed my chances. Got up in the 10th frame, just threw it a little too fast. It was online, just a little firm and didn't hook. Again, lanes were getting really, really tight um, all of a sudden and left the 2-10, made the spare and then switched to the send you on the fill ball um, and it, it looked good. So probably, I don't know if I should have thrown the send you throughout the entire match, but I should probably have, have switched to it in an ideal situation later in the match. But the Proton did do a pretty good job. Like if I make my spares and I don't 7-10, I'm winning by, by quite a lot in that match. So I feel like I, I did what I could, a uh, couple, stupid mistakes there but I threw a really good shot in the ninth frame when I needed to and didn't get rewarded so that's just how it is but really good start to the season great being in that situation making a major show and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it hope you enjoyed uh, all the, the videos here from the US Open and thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll be back with the next PBA tournament